What would happen if Bonnie H. Luffy into his prime sometime within the final saga? How much stronger would he become and what's the chance this even happens? Wizard of Wars here and in this video I'll be going over the complexity of Bonnie's abilities, how Luffy could benefit from becoming older and from becoming younger, what Luffy would look like, how strong he would be, and lastly the best potential fights and meetups with an age Luffy. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy interesting One Piece content like this and so now without further ado let me explain what Bonnie's unknown fruit could most likely do to Luffy. So, as of right now, Bonnie's abilities seem to be able to change someone's age, to become both younger and older, and we don't really know the limits of this ability, of course assuming that there even is any. Like, can she age someone to the point of them becoming so old that they instantly die? Or what about to the age where they're so young that they also die? For example, what if she made someone go back to their fetus form or even before that? Another big question is how long does someone last in this age until going back to their actual self? Like, do her powers work like sugars where as long as she's conscious, the person stays in their toy form? Or is there some sort of time limit like only one hour in the age that she wants them to be in? Hopefully these questions are answered within this arc as she'll most likely have to reveal them eventually when fighting amongst the Straw Hats. And also, just to remind you guys that she She's already once used her powers on Luffy, Chopper, and Jinbei, putting them into weaker forms of themselves and to hide from the Bar Pacifista. And notice how Oda added that Luffy is age 70 at a glimpse at a possible future, showing that Bonnie's powers might actually be some sort of time travel abilities. And so if she eventually gains Luffy's trust, what would happen if she ages him into his prime age or Pirate King form? Well, the first thing I know it do is break the goddamn internet because if we see Pirate King form Luffy in 2023, you just know it's going to be trending on Twitter and YouTube, and I mean, why would it not? Like, that would honestly be so hyped to see. This would be a lot like how we saw Gear 5 in Film Red before actually seeing it in the canon anime episodes, and it would be an even better and more hyped transformation from an outside force than previous ones like Nightmare Luffy. Now, would Pirate King form Luffy actually make him stronger and a better fighter though? I don't think he'll actually need to go in this form to battle someone like Kizuru. I just think that there's a decent chance it'll happen, knowing how one Piece always has the most unexpected things happening, and basically this situation wouldn't be like the Momo situation where he had to grow up in order to help save Wano. I think Luffy is already capable of going head to head with the Admirals and Yonko, and possibly even able to take some of them down. And so now, going back to Luffy in his Pirate King form, I believe he would be stronger in his base form, but not overwhelmingly stronger. And the reason for this is because he'll definitely become physically stronger and more powerful, but I don't think his hockey abilities will change at all, which is what truly matters the most in terms of power scaling. I could be wrong about this because, like I said before, we don't really know the extent of Bonnie's fruit's abilities, and if it is some sort of time travel fruit, which takes you to your exact future or younger self, then Luffy could potentially become the literal strongest man of all time for a few chapters. Now, spoiler warnings for anyone who hasn't watched Hunter x Hunter yet, but if this is what Bonnie's abilities could do, then it would be a lot like when we see Prime Gone sell his soul to become the prime version of himself so he could tear people to absolute shreds. We also know that Oda loves to use many references for his pirate story, so I wouldn't be surprised if he was inspired by one of the best manga slash anime scenes of all time. And also, if the fruit does do this, then that would also mean that if Bonnie were to age, let's say, Shanks back to being a 12 year old kid, that would mean that Shanks would potentially lose all of his hockey abilities and be just as weak as he was when he was a little boy. I feel like this could be a possibility of how the fruit works, but I think this almost makes it too powerful. However though, every fruit seems to be OP in one way or another, so I wouldn't really be surprised if this one were the same. Now, if Luffy became his 40 year old self, I was also thinking that although he'd be stronger physically, his gear 5 ability abilities might actually be worse since, in case you forgot, the Gorosei stated that the Nika fruit's only limited by the user's imagination. Therefore, the less imagination someone has, the less potential for their abilities and since as people get older they lose their imagination, I'd only expect Luffy to be the same and for him to only be worse with Gear 5. If this does happen or if it were true, then I wonder if he's actually nearing his peak at this young age because by the end of the series he should have even better hockey and still have the unlimited imagination that he possesses right now. This is also such a cool idea since I'd expect any 
anyone who awakens this fruit to use it in completely different ways than Luffy because their sense of imagination may create completely different uses with the fruit's abilities. Like, as of right now, it pretty much seems like as long as you can think of it, you should be able to do it while in Gear 5. This would also mean that if Bonnie aged Luffy down to being a 10 year old kid, he may even become more OP if he can still access Gear 5. And this would honestly just be so funny and so fun to witness firsthand. And Kid Luffy would bring a whole new meaning to the name Joy Boy. Like, could you imagine the amount of new moves Boy Joy Luffy would produce out of Gear 5? Well, chances are you probably can't actually imagine it unless you yourself have the imagination of a 10 year old kid. So, us adults would yet again be mind blown by Luffy's unique fighting style. And so, now that we've discussed Luffy's abilities and strength in different ages, what would he actually look like in these forms? I mean, Kid Luffy would obviously look like how he did in the flashbacks, but Pirate King Luffy is the one that I'm really looking forward to. First off, in case you didn't know, Oda already drew Luffy at age 40 and at 60 in a good timeline and in a bad timeline, and it seems like the bad timeline is a version whose metabolism finally caught up to him. Like seriously, I would think that an old version of Luffy would just end up being fat, considering all the eating that he does. But anyways, in the good timeline, we can clearly see how he looked. However, I think with Bonnie's powers, he'd actually look a little different. And first off, I think his facial features would be the same, and the only main difference would probably be the hair, and I think he'd have long hair similar to Dragon in Ohara. The reason for this is because it seems that whenever someone gets aged into their prime, they end up with extremely long hair, for example, Momo after his permanent growth, and it honestly makes sense that this would happen since they literally age without getting any haircuts. And thank you Oda for changing Momo's hairstyle to look like a badass samurai because his previous cut was not it. Like seriously, just what in the f*** is this? And to make matters even worse, it even looked worse when he was a baby. It really gives me Zuko from Avatar vibes and just like what would happen if these two didn't tie their hair up? Like would it just be one long random stream of hair with the rest of the bald head? But anyways, going back to Luffy, now let me tell you the fights and meetups that we need to see as fans and there's definitely a whole lot of guys that can make this list. So first off is the one that I've already brought up in the video and that'd be Kizaru. The reason for him is simply due to the fact that it seems he's heading over to Egghead and there's just a really high chance of this happening. The next guy I want Luffy to meet while in this form is Shanks and that would be because maybe we could see a glimpse of how Prime Luffy versus Prime Shanks would go and this could only happen if Bonnie stays with the Straw Hats for the next few arcs. Also, if Shanks potentially saw Luffy as a kid, he might think to himself that it's a side effect of the Joy Boy fruit and that Luffy actually becomes a boy while in Gear 5 at times. Another really good hypothetical would be if Boa sees Luffy in either form and I think that she'd simp so hard for his prime form while she'd probably just call him the cutest thing in the world as a kid. Another funny one could be Bartolomeo simply because he might be more hype about it than us and let me know anyone else's reactions you'd want to see to prime form Luffy or even boy joy Luffy. So now what are the chances of this actually happening to Luffy and other Straw Hats as well? Well, I'd say it's probably a 50-50 chance that it happens to Luffy within the Egghead arc, but if Bonnie stays with the Straw Hats for a long time, then the chances obviously increase rapidly the longer she stays. Now, for her to put at least one star in the prime is a 99.9% .9 chance because she's literally with them right now and slowly becoming friends with them, and this kind of reminds me how Lost switched their bodies before he trusted them, and the same sort of thing could happen with Bonnie because she's pretty much surrounded by a Yonko crew, and why wouldn't she be afraid of them or untrustworthy of them, especially considering just how crazy they look on paper. I mean, the only time she met a straw hat, he was about to do the most illegal act in the world. And of course, even though she stopped him, his captain ended up doing the exact thing that she tried to prevent. Like, she probably hates the straw hats for summoning Kizaru at Sabayori, or at the minimum, she's at least cautious of their insanity. That's honestly probably why she didn't get along with Luffy at first, even after he and Jinbei saved her life. But we all know how their bond will end up, as Luffy, the true Riz God of One Piece, always seems to get the ladies on his side, no matter how much they hated him before. I also think she'll end up having a good bond with Sanji as he'll probably simp for her and since she'll probably eat unlimited amounts of his top tier food. But anyways, Punk Hazard also seems to parallel Egghead with all of these science references, the Devil Fruit creation connections, Vegapunk's very own Devil Fruit, and also with the fact that Vegapunk himself seemed to be very connected to the island itself and with Caesar. We even saw Luffy fight against an old world government enemy being Smoker 
just like how he's fighting another old world government enemy being Lucci. On top of this, an admiral showed up at the end of Punk Hazard, just like how an admiral will most likely show up near the end of Egghead. And so now, if Bonnie is someone like how Law was in Punk Hazard, she'll probably mess around with the Straw Hats for a little and change their ages, which boys, you know what this means. We could potentially see Nami the MILF and 21 year old Robin. Chopper better be prepared to give Sanji medical treatment since his life may be in danger after his loss of blood. And Oda's really been spicing up the fan service this arc like when he puts all of the ladies in their space underwear outfits, so I really wouldn't be surprised if he also does this just for the boys. Also, which one would you rather see? Milf Nami or Young Robin? Let me know in the comments who and why. We may also see Prime Zoro, Prime Sanji, or Young Zoro and Young Sanji, or possibly even Old Man Zoro and Old Man Sanji, and I could definitely see a scenario where Bonnie makes Zoro Sanji really old, and then the other one starts teasing the other, and then right after that, she makes the other one also really young or old. Like, that would be hilarious, and it's just such an older thing to do. But anyways, this pretty much wraps up the video, and let me know in the comments what you think would happen if Bonnie aged Luffy into his prime, and also let me know which other straw hat you'd want this to happen to.